I'm going to show you how to add new usernames, adjust usernames and or passwords, and how to sync that information to the mobile side. First thing you want to do when you have any users in the software that you need to adjust or if you need to add a new username to the software, go to MISC Info, System, User Maintenance. When this opens up, this is where you control your users. If you need to change a password, simply click in the password area, remove what you want, and input the new password. Security levels. Level one is for like a foreman or a manager. They're able to see everyone's work on the mobile side. They're able to see all tasks and all routes assigned to everyone. Now, if you have route technicians that you don't want to see everyone else's work because it's confusing, but also because they don't need it, you're going to want to set them to a level two. They're going to be a basic user. This makes it so on the mobile side, they only see work assigned to them. If you use the mobile devices, you never want to use security level three. The basic with no balances, this does not exist on the mobile side, it will create issues. So you need to select either level one or level two. One is full admin, they can see everything. Level two only sees stuff assigned to them. The other piece that is truly important here, if you're using the mobile devices, you must input your time zone. So if we have the wrong time zone here, we're gonna have issues when we're syncing with the mobiles. Very important that every user has the correct time zone. So if you're in Eastern Standard Time, select EST. If you're Central Standard Time, CST. Then Mountain, MST, and Pacific, PST. There are other options in there, but those are our main ones for America. The last thing is if you want to add a new user, maybe you just got somebody on board, his name is John, just type in his name in the bottom line, type in a password, set a security level, maybe he's a manager, make sure his time zone is correct. Once you've done that, that's all you have to do to add a new user. They'll automatically be able to sign into the desktop with that name once it's created. But we need to do a sync to get that username up to the mobile side to be able to sign in. To do that, just click Close to save those changes. And then the Sync Mobile Device button along the top, go ahead and click on that. First thing is you're never going to use the Sync Legacy Mobile Device button. You're never going to use this customer portal. These are legacy options. They're going away. They're no longer used. Everything is controlled along these top options. To push up new usernames, passwords, changes to the user in general, security level changes, anything we just changed on that user list, we need to select from this top dropdown, Sync Core Files. Sync Core Files, and then hit the Sync button. Once it's done, the new users, passwords, or any changes to those usernames have been sunk to the mobile side. Now all you have to do is go to the mobile devices, and you can sign in with those new uh, usernames, passwords, or whatever you've adjusted. That's all we need to know on the uh, setup of the users and how to send them to the mobiles.